So a little bit of background on, on oyster life history. Uh, oysters spawn in, in Pamlico Sound when the water temperature hits about 60 degrees. So they're basically spawning May through October. And uh, we, we tend to see this initial sort of major spawning outburst in, in May of each year. And the spawning is, is synchronized. And, and this is because basically these are, these are animals that are external fertilizers. So they're releasing egg and sperm in mass. And, the, and that egg and sperm is diluting pretty rapidly. So the eggs get fertilized. They start to develop into a little larval stage that now drifts in the plankton in the water column for about three weeks. And they're very weak swimmers. They can, they can sort of migrate vertically. They catch currents that might be moving in different directions. But other than that, they're pretty much going where the, the, the tides and, and the winds are taking them. Um, after about three weeks, they, they, they start moving further down in the water column. And they actually start sniffing the bottom. And they're sniffing for dopamine. Uh, dopamine is their, their molecular cue that, force, that causes them to settle and cement themselves to the bottom. And dopamine is found in the cement uh, of oysters. And so it makes sense if you're a little oyster larva, you would want to settle near other larvae, because if you don't, then your chances of, of reproducing successfully are pretty low because of this external spawning. OK, so now um, we've. We've got oysters that once, let's say they settle out on a piece of pipe or a tire or something in the, in the estuarine bottom, uh, they can very rapidly change the complexity of that habitat. And so that's why they're referred to as ecosystem engineers because of this complex three-dimensional structure that they can build. And so they, oyster reefs support hundreds of species. They create habitat for fouling organisms, and they provide food. They're one of the other ecosystem functions that they provide is, is water quality. So they, the way they feed, they crack their valve open. They're sucking in water that, uh, and basically stripping out the algal particles in the water and then ejecting what's called uh, pseudofeces. And so, um, so they're filter feeders. One service they can provide is that many of our estuaries are over-fertilized, so they're getting um, there's too much algae in the water, and so, so oysters can actually filter a lot of that algae out. And that's important because by limiting plankton uh, that would otherwise sink to the bottom, start to decompose, start to use up the dissolved oxygen, it can reduce anoxia, which is low oxygen, or uh, no oxygen, or hypoxia, which is low oxygen. And uh, I have Captain John Smith's picture there because of, uh, for two reasons. One. When I was at William & Mary, they had a uh, little reading room off the, the main library called the Matthew Fontaine Murray Reading Room. So he's a big ex marine explorer. And they had the original navigational charts for the James River when Jamestown was being settled. And it was amazing because you would look at the James River, and the channel went like this, the navigational channel all the way upriver, just completely different from the way it is now. And the reason it was sunui like that was because of all these oyster reefs that were intertidal growing out 90 degrees from the shoreline. And, and the second thing was that there was a report in the log that one of his ships, they actually dropped a cannon overboard and it landed 30 feet below them in the sand and they could see it. Now how many of you, how many of you have been to Jamestown? What does the James River look like? It's green and brown and I mean you can't even you can't even see that far in front of your face if you're diving in it so think about the the change that has taken place uh, in Chesapeake Bay in terms of water quality so back then uh, oysters would filter the volume of Chesapeake Bay in three days now it takes over a year so tremendous changes due to loss of, of oysters so that that's sort of the segue into to why restoration 